Okay, for those of you who came in late, what we're reflecting on is the question, is all fair in love, war, and politics? Um, where, where would you draw the line if you did draw one? Is, if we're, even if you just have an individual opinion about how you might do that, if you were to draw the line, or should we? I, uh, I, I guess I, I, I feel in all three, love, war, <coughs> politics, I think that there are parameters, there are rules. In, in war, there's the Geneva Convention. Whether everybody follows it, uh, don't know, but there, there are parameters. In love, I mean, you're not going to do anything and everything in love. You've got to establish trust between you and the other person. And I think the same is true in politics. We as politicians have to establish trust. We stand in your place as we govern uh, the state of Michigan or the nation. We, we are making decisions on your behalf, and you have to trust us. Now, you're not going to agree with me on everything because there are so many different perspectives, but somehow, if I'm going to get elected, I have to create trust between the majority of the people out there and me. And I can't just do anything and everything I want because I'm going to lose voters if I do certain things. And I have to, I have to be mindful of those kinds of things. I guess the question is all fair. Most of the argumentation we've had, uh, whether it's really relevant or important, lipstick on a pig and that kind of thing. It's not unfair, but voter suppression is sending people postcards saying that the election is Wednesday instead of Tuesday uh, is probably not fair, probably not legal. Uh, so there are things that I think clearly cross the line and uh, you, know, you need to, I don't think you have to be an ethical uh, genius to figure out that Getting people to not vote is probably not appropriate tactics in democracy. And in the negative, the courts seem to handle what the Constitution didn't specifically address. The Constitution guaranteed freedom of speech, uh, but the courts have restricted what we're able to say. Uh, and so there are sanctions for saying <coughs> now uh, uh, for lying. In love, we war, and peace, you have to understand there's, with love, there's the goal of getting the girl or the guy, whichever the case may be. That's what you want. That's the prize. With war, the prize is dominance over another country or submission. When you look at politics, what they're really battling for is, what they should be looking at is the opportunity to serve and what would be the best for the country in terms of the ideas presented, but it turns into a battle for power. Well, if it's sort of a winner-take-all when it comes to politics. 